Hey guys, welcome back to Comageddon TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Today on the show, we're going to be taking a look at a, not a comic book haul, but a, a different kind of haul. Uh, I got a pop vinyl, I got a Hot Wheels, I got a Funko figure, and a few movies. So, let's go ahead and get into it. First of all, first we'll start with the Hot Wheels. Uh, this week, I picked up, it's Batmobile, Hot Wheels, from the 89 Batman. Uh, I've already got one of these, but this one... Uh, is a different color than the one I've got. So I'll be reviewing that probably next week on the show. Probably see the return of Minifigure Monday. I don't know. Uh, I haven't yet decided uh, if I'm going to stick with Minifigure Monday or just keep that as an open slot for whatever. But you will get a video on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays for sure. You know, it's, it's really difficult to plan things. Because, you know, right now I'm the only one doing anything on this channel. John made a video a while back saying that uh, the movie Crypt was coming to Comageddon TV and all this. And he has yet to upload any videos. He has yet to upload his follow-up. I don't know what's going on with that. It is what it is. Uh, I've been hounding on the guys to get some videos done. Billy's going through some things right now, so... it. it that's understandable. John just got a new job, so I, I'm not sure where everyone is at this moment, but you will be getting some videos from me at least three days a week, if not four days a week for the time being. There's that. Uh, I got I, the, these next two, or these next couple, I picked up a couple months ago, but I never actually did a video on them. Uh, the first one is the Dragon... the. Dragon Ball Z Collection 3 four, uh, Movie 4 Pack, uh, Broly Second Coming, Bio Broly, Fusion Reborn, and Wrath of the Dragon. Uh, I watched Broly Second Coming. I have not watched the other ones yet. Um, and, you know, I never actually got to see the original uh, Broly uh, part of the series. Because when it aired, whenever Dragon Ball Z aired on Cartoon Network, it wasn't very reliable on when it would air. Just like to this day, I still have yet to watch the the last part of the Boo Saga. I watched it for the first time when I was a senior in high school, uh, back in 2001. And that's when it was airing about 4.30 in the afternoon. And it got right to um, shortly after Vegeta becomes possessed by Majin Buu or whatever. And then it stopped airing it or whatever. So I never caught the end of the series. That was, the Boo Saga is what got me into Dragon Ball Z to begin with. Uh, so I haven't caught all the other ones. I've caught a few of the Android Saga, Cell, uh, here and there. But I never really got to watch it from beginning to end. I never really got into Dragon Ball. I didn't really care for the art style. And I never got into Dragon Ball GT either. I really liked the Dragon Ball Z, what I've seen of it. And I really like Dragon Ball Super. So with that being said, up next, we've got Dragon Ball Super Part 3. I already had I already had Resurrection F and Battle of the Gods. So I didn't see a point in getting parts one and two because these two movies are pretty much a summarized version of those two parts of the series. Uh, so I didn't really see a point in getting that, but I, I consider this right here the complete three parts. Uh, there isn't a whole lot else, uh, just some filler stuff in these two, from one and two, or no, from one and two uh, that didn't make it into the movies. So. Uh, up next, we've got Dragon Ball Z, double feature, Cooler's Revenge, and The Return of Cooler. Then we have 25th Anniversary, DuckTales, Volume 1, uh, three disc set. Uh, I have not yet opened this to watch it yet. We used to have Volume 1 on DVD uh, of the three discs or three cases or whatever. Uh, this is a special anniversary edition. Uh, I'm not sure if this has the very first episode on it or not. I'm hoping it does. That would be very cool. 
Then I got picked these up today at Dollar General. We have Season 1, Book 2 of Thundercats. This is the remake for Cartoon Network. It didn't do well because Cartoon Network wasn't consistent with broadcasting it. Uh, and they put it on really late in the evening, at night. Uh, kids couldn't really get into it because they were mostly asleep. I decided to check the series out. I remember at almost nothing from the original series. I watched it as a kid. I got the complete collection on DVD that I got from Dollar General. Still have yet to watch it. Uh, I picked this up because I really liked this when I saw it on Cartoon Network. Uh, and this is, uh, book two is where I started watching. I didn't start with book one. I really liked it. Uh, I tried scouring Dollar General to see if they had book one. They didn't. So I'm hoping to find that at some point. Uh, up next, another Dollar General find. Uh, this one brought back a lot of memories for me. I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the wrapper because the wrapper was kind of torn up. Been shuffled around a lot. Uh, I used to watch this every Saturday morning on Fox Kids. Where on earth is Carmen San Diego? The first 10 episodes. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this was based off of the game show, Where in the World is Carmen San Diego, which starred Lynn Thigpen as the chief, uh, <clears throat> and the contestants would become agents and would track down Carmen San Diego. Uh, this one stars a brother and sister duo. Uh, the brother looks a lot like Mighty Max from the Mighty Max TV series, uh, animated series, but I had a lot of fun watching this. I really liked it. I really liked Where in the World is Carmen San, Di San Diego. I used to play the video game on the original Nintendo when it came out. Really liked it. Uh, I don't know if it stands up to the test of time or not, but we're going to find out. After I watch it, I'll be back with my review. Uh, up next on this haul, uh, we're getting away from DVDs and Blu-rays now. I found this at GameStop yesterday, and I'd been looking all over for one. Uh, the website said that our Walmart carried them. They don't. And that's Funko's Duck, Disney's DuckTales Scrooge McDuck action figure. I, as you can tell, I'm a huge DuckTales fan. This will go good with my DuckTales collection. I will be doing a review on that up uh, soon. I'll be uh, recording it next so that I can go ahead and take this guy out of the package and add him to my collection. Uh, they also had Baloo the Bear from Disney's Tailspin, and I believe they had Chip and Dale from uh, Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers as well. But as you can see, it's got the same backing as the uh, DuckTales Funko Pop vinyl figures, uh, their boxes. So, <clears throat> I was pretty excited to find this, and the fact they had it right by the door, I was surprised that no one else had sna snagged it up. Uh, also, another thing they had right by the door that I'd been hoping to get my hands on is this right here. Rainbow Bright Funko Pop. Uh, I wasn't a huge Rainbow Bright fan growing up. I watched it. I remember nothing about it. I still have the uh, little gray dude uh, that's like the opposite of Twink there. Uh, gray with a big nose and red tennis shoes. Still got him as a stuffed animal. I give him to my son. Uh, I got that when I was really little, when the uh, cartoon first aired. This cartoon right here. So this brings back memories, and I wanted to get her, because just because she looks so cool. Uh, she looks really good, and I will be doing a review on her. Uh, the only thing is, I had trouble deciding where I was going to put her in my collection, because I display them to display side out like this, it doesn't really go with match up with any of my other pops. So I ended up putting her right in between uh, my Phantom Funko Pop and Space Ghost. Um, because those the, uh, the display side of Space Ghost is somewhat similar. It, it, it matches up a little bit. Uh, she doesn't stand out too terribly bad in that position. You will be getting a review of her in the near future. You'll be getting a review of Scrooge McDuck. You'll be getting a review of Where on Earth is Carmen Sandiego. 
you'll be getting a review of Thundercats Season 1, Book 2. You'll be getting a review of DuckTales, the 25th anniversary, Episodes 1 through 27. Uh, and you'll eventually be getting a review of each of these Dragon Ball Z uh, movies. So there you have it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul for the week. I'm Shannon for Comigan TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Take care, my friends.